In our high school geometry courses, sometimes we have to do a reflection. Here are three examples of reflections. To start doing this reflection, I start by zeroing the ruler on the closest vertex to the reflection line. And then I swivel the ruler until the edge of the ruler is perpendicular to the reflection line. I can use the little lines on the ruler to help judge this. And then I see how far it is between that vertex and the reflection line. In this case, I think it is about one centimeter. I double that. One times two is two. So starting from zero, I count to two centimeters and I put a dot. This is the reflection of vertex P and I'll call it P prime. Going to the next closest vertex, I do the same thing. I zero the ruler on the vertex. I make sure the edge of the ruler is perpendicular to the reflection line. I measure 31 and a half millimeters, so I double that and I get 63. Starting from zero, I count 63 millimeters and I put a dot. That was vertex R, so its reflection is R prime. Now I'm on the last vertex. I zero the ruler.